So I'm down to my last two. Next one's going to be... I'm going to give you three words. Tell me what's more important to a man as he builds himself up. Money, looks, or status. You get, you have to lose two and only keep one. What's most oh, important? Oh, that's tough. Ah, fuck. They're all literally the most important, bro. Like, of all the things in life that you could pick, it's those three. Um, I would say prioritize your looks. And that might hurt a lot of people. That People might take that the, lo- the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But there's a couple of reasons for that. Yeah. When you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you're going to be more confident. And that's going to help you get status and money. Mm. So if you can improve mm-hmm. yourself physically to any degree, your self-image starts to improve. And that literally will benefit and leak into every other aspect of life. So, you know, so for a lot of guys, it's like, I don't really know how to go get more money. That's a skill mm-hmm. set that might yeah. take you more time to learn. It might be things mm-hmm. you have to do, steps you have to take, a process you have to follow if you want to increase your income. Status, that's something that's pretty hard to achieve too. You got to network. You got to work for that. That exactly. also might take years. But bro, you can go to the gym tomorrow. You can go to the gym right now. You can start building yourself up physically mm-hmm. easily with little resistance, bro. It's like 10 bucks for a gym membership if you go somewhere cheap. You can start buying better groceries. Start taking care of yourself, you know, groom do the do the things you know you need to do and that's easy bro that's an easy win so i think that for most people improving their health is not only the most accessible Mm. easiest thing to get into but it's also going to leak into those other two things of money and status it's going to help you get those anyway so you might as well start there okay very good answer though and lastly what is your goal for your channel your business to touch december 2023 Hmm. All right. So I do have a a goal in mind exactly for December. I have it written down on my notepad right here. So um, I'd like for my channel to be monetized, not necessarily for the sake of um, making money off of it, because I don't really have plans to do that. But it's more just hitting that like 1000 subscriber goal. I think that's Mm -hmm. really like where things can start to change for your channel. Yeah. So that's kind of like the selfish, like you know, materialistic goal Mm. related to the channel. But the biggest thing that's happened in recent months as my videos have started to become a little more popular Mm. is like, I started to get the comments of like, yo, bro, this really helped. And like, yo, dude, this, you know, I needed this video right now. So, you know, I'll tell you my, my goal with the channel for the beginning of this year, which was to create a hundred videos. I wasn't going to judge the success of my channel. I wasn't going to think too much about, analytics and how people were receiving. I was just going to make a hundred pieces of content and see how they were received and see what kind of subscribers and views and everything else looked like at that point. So I'm pretty close to hitting that now. I'm at like 88 videos or something like that. Okay. I'm definitely going to hit the 100 before the end of the year. So that was my like actionable step goal of like, Hey, I can't control how many subscribers I can't control how many views but I can control how much content and the quality of that content that I'm putting out. Mm. So now I've kind of raised the bar a little bit. I'm going to hit the hundred pretty soon. So by the end of, you know, this year, whatever, maybe I'm shooting for like 200 or 150 or whatever. Um, but really my goal always from the start has been just to make sure that I'm making content with the intention of, it reaching the people that need it the most. Mm. So I'm not really focused on like the monetization of the subscribers as much as I am like making sure that I'm being authentic to myself and making sure that the people that are watching it are receiving the the things that they need to from that content and that it's helping people. Because if with business as well, this is something that I learned that completely changed the way that I go about running my business and my YouTube channel, I treat the exact same way the you will get paid in accordance to how much you can help other people Mm. so bro, if you want the biggest youtube channel help the most people don't be worried about views and likes and monetization and adsense and all this other shit like it's cool and it you it helps because you honestly need that to Mm. continue to fuel the content creation process that's why it's important and that's why i do have those monetary kind of material goals with it it's only so that I can it can fuel the evolution and success of the channel even further. Mm, okay. So 
but, but ultimately the goal is to to help as many people as possible and keep creating content with the intention of hey if this just reaches the five guys in the world that needed it the most right now today and they watch it and they find it then that's a big w for me so man i really like your answer man shows actually true passion because like you said the monetization monetization but not for the money you actually just reach it for the goal because if you can reach a thousand subs people who want to tune in and they know that they're reaching for your content because it's doing good for their life man that makes sense so i applaud you man for that answer yeah yeah it's weird bro on youtube it's like or any even on social media right the more subs you have the more subs you get mm -hmm. The more views you have, the more views you get. So indirectly, bro, by my channel growing, it's going to attract more people that need to see it or could really benefit from seeing it. So that's why those goals are in place. I'm sorry if you can hear my phone going off. But, no, no, you, you know, really, it's like, you know, once you start to build that platform, other people are attracted to it. And then it just like scales from there. So, right. yeah, man, just building a community, building a tribe of guys that are all trying to grow and improve and get better at themselves and and just win at life, bro, is really the mission. And, you know, we're starting to build that now. Yeah. And it's gaining a little bit of traction day by day. And hey, man. I'm really shit, man. You, came, you came across my uh, my algorithm, man. So, I mean, I checked you out and I had reached out to you. So, man, you on the right track? Yeah. And I appreciate you. Dude. This has been awesome. I've been sure. wanting to do podcasts for literally the longest. <laughs> you guys are the first one. So we're on hey, like, no, this trust awesome me. We'll, yeah, we won't be the last, man. Because after I start posting you, man, people, they're they going to find you, man. You, you on the right track. Much love, bro. And yeah. I'm going to steer people in your direction as well, obviously, as well. So. For sure, man. I'll be Thanks checking so in and tuning in with you soon, man. I appreciate you. Doing. Thanks for doing the show. Absolutely, man. It was All a right, pleasure. Man.